This lesson deals with supplemental problem 7.1. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 7 supplemental problem starting on page 1. Given this one capacitor circuit with a switch that opens at time t equals 0, can you solve for the capacitor current as a function of time and the current in the 4K resistor? In the chapter 7 class notes, we had a six step algorithm for solving for any voltage or any current of a one capacitor circuit. So let's use that technique. Step 1 is to formulate the equations. Since this is a first order differential equation, the solution is in the form a plus b times e to the minus t over tau. Now since we have two equations here, let's use a 1 and 2 subscript. The value of tau though will be the same for both uh, i sub c and i of the 4k. Our second step was to find the pre-switching value of these variables so we can then make a sketch for t less than 0 and then t greater than 0. We also have to find the capacitor voltage since that doesn't change instantaneously and we can use that to solve for our unknowns. So let's look at the circuit just before the switch changes state. So it was shorted here, closed. Let's assume the circuit's been in this state for a long time, so the capacitor looks like an open circuit. And then we can solve for our variables. The current in the capacitor is going to be zero because it's an open circuit. The current in this 4K resistor is simply going to be the fact that there's 20 volts and 10K in this path, and so the current will be 2 milliamps. And lastly, the capacitor voltage is also the voltage across the 4K, and I could use voltage divider to find the voltage across the 4K. I could also use the fact that I know the current that's here too. Using voltage divider, I get 4K over 6K plus 4K times 20, and that's 8 volts, or you could take the 2 milliamps times the 4K and get 8 volts. Almost always more than one way to solve a problem. All right, step three is to find the initial conditions of our variables. Okay, so what's I sub C at T equals zero plus, and what's I of the 4K resistor? These variables can change instantaneously, but the one thing that can't is the voltage across the capacitor because I is equal to C dV dt. So if the voltage jumps abruptly, we have to supply infinite current. And that's just not possible. So the voltage across the capacitor just before we open the switch was eight volts, and must still be the same after we open the switch. Well, forcing eight volts across this resistor, we'd have two milliamps. And that's gonna be A2 plus B2 times E to the zero, which is just equal to one. So just A2 plus B2. The current in the capacitor would be, since there's an open circuit here, this current is gonna have to all flow this way. That's going to be the negative of the current in the 4K resistor, so it's a minus 2 milliamps. That's going to be A1 plus B1 times E to the 0, and E to the 0 is 1, so just A1 plus B1. Okay, so I have one equation and my two unknowns. Take a look at, as time approaches infinity, or really five time constants, the capacitor will again look like an open circuit. So what's the current flowing in this resistor? Well, there's an open here because of the switch, so there's no current coming in. Therefore, there's nothing here. I've got 0 amps. That's going to be A2 plus B2 times E to the minus infinity, it's just going to be equal to A2. Same is true for the capacitor current, since it's an open circuit in steady state, it's also be zero. That'll be the value of A1. The fifth step in our algorithm is to find the Thevenin resistance seen by the capacitor with all of the independent sources set equal to zero and the switch in the state after t equals zero. That was an open circuit here, short for the battery. Looking back in here, all I see is the 4K resistor. So 4K times the two microfarads that was here would be our time constant. That's eight milliseconds. And then the last step in our algorithm is to find the solution. We found that A1 plus B1 was minus 2 milliamps. A1 was 0, so therefore B1 is equal to minus 2 milliamps. So I sub C is equal to A1 plus B1 e to the minus T over tau, which is minus 2 milli times e to the minus T over 8 milliseconds. This is true for T greater than 0. For T less than 0, it was equal to 0, so we have a discontinuity here. In other words, we jumped from 0 to minus 2 milliamps. The second variable was the current in the 4K resistor. And again, that's going to be equal to A2 plus B2, e to the minus T over tau. Now we found that A2 plus B2 was 2 milliamps, A2 was 0, so B2 is 2 milliamps. So our current in our 4K resistor then is just 2 milli, e to the minus T over tau, which is 8 milliseconds. And again, the units on this would be amps. This is true for T greater than 0, but we also found the value of this current for T less than 0 and found that it was 2 milliamps. So there's a continuity here. As we pass through T equals 0, we go from 2 milliamps to 2 milliamps. The reason this is happening is because this resistor is across the capacitor, and the capacitor voltage can't change instantaneously, so it's forcing a constant voltage across this resistor, and so the current is not changing instantaneously. This is just unique to this particular circuit, and is not true in general. And this is supplemental problem 7.1.